Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLEP. It's Wednesday the 9th of June, another hump day rolls around. We have some new mods and we have some updates which are as follows. From top left, the Massive Ferguson 1x5 series by Yagi's Modding, the Massive Ferguson 7600 by Blauer, the Agripark Weight Pack by Zemelmorza, the Weight Pack 600 1600 kilogram by Fote, the Fuel Storage by Missy B, and the Wooden Fence by Mikkel6920 and Tenzbeck. There's also been an update to the Lizard 44202 by Axery. Uh, that's had a uh, sounds update, rear work lights added, and a 600 horsepower engine option, but that wasn't showing on the Mod Hub website, but it is showing in the Mod Hub as an update. So those are all updates for today. In front of me, the wooden barn. This is 6.72 megabytes download, five slots on console. This is by Cherry and R Modeling. You'll find it under Sheds. It's 20,000 to buy, and then any landscaping fees on top of that. Nicely detailed, nicely textured. It looks like a wood barn. Sound effect for a wood door seems about right with a few squeaky hinges here and there. There's no lighting inside, but what I do like, the detail I say is great. It's the detail of all the individual shingles on the roof. That's brilliant. But it looks like it's been boarded over the top. So you've had a kind of repair job done. It's brilliant. Uh, and then you've got a kind of modern bit on here where you've got some OSB on it, on the rafters, to give you a bit of a hayloft. If you want to use it as a hayloft, drive through, back door's open as well. So like I say, you find it on the sheds for 20,000. It's by Cherry and R Modelling. Moving on from there, we've got the Lizard New Art Series by Farm Centro Soul Insight Design 3D. This is 43.2 megabytes download, 31 slots on console for the first one. It's a very nice looking lorry. There are a few options available on this. There's a couple of bits on it that well, I'll, I'll explain and I'll show you in just a moment. You'll find it under Vehicles and Trucks. 185,000 for the base model. Options available. We can change the rim colour to anything on that palette. And there's quite a few metallic options. Class monster metallic. I'd like to say, there's a whole load on there to have a look through. We'll stick with silver metallic. Design colour. Does the insert section there by the window and the bottom of the bumper. Then main colour. Does the rest. Like so. Interesting look. Actually, I wish I'd have gone for that now. Then we've got, under axle configurations, we've got a 4x2. We've got a 6x2. We've got a 6x4. We've got an 8x2. And an 8x4. Then we've got film configurations. This is a very weird one. This is film over the windscreen. We've got a whole selection of different film colours. If you want to put a protective film over your windscreen that's up to you then this one here it says reduction cubes this is something over the rear axle so i can tell um we've got no so you can see all the uh, wheel nuts and stuff on there yes puts those cubes block things over the um the hubs and the nuts to protect everything and then we've got fender design let's go into the front Oh no, hang on, fenders, that's the back. We've got open, fenders, or covered. Then we come around to the front. We've got umbrella. This is the sun visor. Yes or no. Got reflective strips on that sun visor. Do you just see it's reflecting? Then cabin design. We've got airfoil, full, 4,000 extra. No, which doesn't have anything else. You can just have deflector or the full. Those are your options on that. We've got lights configuration, standard. Got a lighthouse on the grill, on the grid, so it adds lights just below the windscreen. You can have lights above the windscreen, or both, or off if you want. Then engine setup, we've got 410 horsepower, 450, 500, 540, 580, 620, 650, 730, and a 770 horsepower engine. 
And an air suspension, yes or no. And cabin accessories, standard or air conditioning. Standard gives you a sunroof, sun uh, yeah, sunroof. And then you can have an air conditioning unit over that if you want to instead. Those are all the options available. Let's hop in and start it up. So lights. Like that. Horn. And then we have got to the side. Down axle. So we've got the axle there. Let's raise at the moment. L1 and X puts the axle down. I'll raise that back up again. So we've also got open cover, which does the air suspension if you've got it installed, which drops the cab down. I mean, it's a couple of inches, but it does drop it. Do it again. Brings it back up again. That's your air suspension on there. What was the other option? That's it. If you're on the back. Interior, nicely detailed. Lighting options. Engine off, it looks like that. That's weird. So, this is where things get a little bit peculiar. Reversing is fine. It looks great. I mean, don't get me wrong. The tire ch tires and everything, very nice. Yeah, and that thing, did I have tire choice on this? I've just suddenly... No. There's no tire options, are there? Hang on a minute. Ah, okay, I'm glad I checked on this. That's interesting. Because I went for the 8x4 and then scrolled down my options, airfoil, lights, and then carried on down, I missed out some options because I went for that as my choice. If I go to the 4x2 and we go down, reduction cubes, fender design, umbrella and cabin, Lights, and you've got side fairing. So you can have side fairing standard or full cover. So you can have side fairings on it. Two, engine setup, then tanks configuration, square or round, or plus extension, which I didn't have on the... Yeah, I didn't have on the other one. So that's specific to the 4 by 2 I'm glad I went back in and checked, because that seemed a bit... It was more the tyre choice thing I was going into, and that kind of threw me off a little bit there. Yeah, side fairings. Hang on. And I suppose you won't get the tank choices and stuff on the larger one, because there's um, a, an axle. Yeah, there's an axle where the side fairings and stuff would go, so you wouldn't get it. Glad I checked. No tyre choices, but there are some fairing options there. Now, if we go forward, it's ticking over. There's a bit of a whine, but not much of an acceleration sound to start off with. And it kind of jumps up, but what we've got is this weird thing. That that, yes, admittedly, you wouldn't be turning at a ridiculous speed, you wouldn't be turning sharply at 50 miles an hour, but it does have a tendency for the back to decide it wants to be going in front of the front. <laughs> so just be aware of that. If you suddenly turn, the back has a tendency to kind of slide out on you. You might have great fun doing that. Do a bit of truck racing and sliding through those corners, but generally speaking, not a bad lorry, that. There you go. That's the Lizard new R series by Farm Centro. So Insight designed 3D. Moving on from there, we've got this Komatsu Harvester Pack by Woodcraft Modding. This is 47.71 megabytes download. Now this comes with we have got Komatsu 901. Now that's interesting that it says 901 XC because that's just the 901. Hmm. 901 XC. So you've got three axle with a larger rear wheel. The XC, four axles. 
Then we've got the 931, that's got the XCB on it. The 931, with the larger rear axle, but three axles. And then the 931 XC, with four axles. I've just gone for different options. I'll show you all the options in just a moment. Then over the back there, we've got the 951. Um, now these range in, it's weird actually, the smaller one. These are 30 slots for the first one. These are 29, and the 951 is 28 slots, which is all the way over the back there. Options are pretty much the same across the board. That being said, there's a proviso on this. Um, on the 901s, you've got uh, two tyre choices. When you move up to the 931s, it adds in a Nokian tyre choice, which the smaller ones don't have, if I recall correctly. Then we've got headers. Now, the point about this pack bin, do these cut trees any differently to any of the other harvesters? No, but there's a load of additional kind of options and extras and features on them, which are really quite cool. Um, and you've got different header sizes. So if you want to simulate that thing of going out with a harvester set and doing smaller trees, thinning it out, then going for a larger set and going for bigger trees, the smaller one, the 901, will cut up to a 63 centimetre diameter tree. The 931 will do a 75 centimetre diameter tree and the 951 over the back there will go up to an 83 centimetre diameter tree. Now these have incremental cut lengths and they go up in half metres as well up to 19 metre cut lengths. I will check on the smaller one, I think I checked the 951. Cab door opens and closes when you get in, very nicely detailed. Interiors on them are great. We've got some different options for controllers. As you can see, there's various different buttons and things on that. Um, camera angles are outside, inside, and by the side of the cutting head. So what I'm going to do is open that. If we go to cut length here, we've got cut length one meter. Um, I'm using my side panel, so up in half meter increments. Yeah. I thought I'd better check on 19.5, yeah, 19.5, then back to one metre. I thought I'd better check because um, it's possible that the smaller ones would do a shorter cut length and the cut lengths would get longer the further up, but it looks like they all go up to 19.5 metres. So options available on these, and I say there are a few. So we start with the 901, 365 grand, 231 horsepower, like I say, slot count 30, and then the XC's got the extra axle, a little bit more expensive, but the options are the same on both of these. So we can change the main colour. Now this says red or black. I haven't been able to work out <laughs> what changes. Something must change, it's not the seat, is it? Nope, I can't tell. Anyway, uh, then we've got the option of, we've got Trelleborg and Ollis 4s on the 901s. So those are the two tyre choices. We've got Trelleborgs, Ollis 4s, then with the Ollis 4s we've got Ecotrack, Evo Baltic, EX, Kovax, Magnum, Ecotrack, Baltic, EX, Kovax, Magnum, then back off again. If we've got the four axle, same options, the eco tracks just go across two wheels on the back. Then you've got without protection. Now I've gone for a, sex, a selection of these across the ones I've got out. We've got without protection, protection one, protection two, protection three, then off. Then this is the interesting one. And I haven't been able to get this to work yet. Without winch or with winch. And it adds this on the back of it. Now, it does say on the website Mod Hub, if I can find it. It says the traction winch is for visual purposes only. Now, with these five machines, you are equipped for every application from thinning to final felling, regardless of steep terrain, due to the, tra the traction winch. And then it does say the traction winch is for visual purposes only. Um, and the pictures on there show a steep incline with the winch seemingly engaged. Um, I can't get it to engage I, there's no option for it but you can have that winch added on but that's 75 grand now for 75 grand maybe i'm missing something possibly it's a pc only thing it might be we haven't got it on console it could be it needs an update 
I'm not entirely sure. There could be a very specific set of circumstances that will allow this winch to work. I haven't figured that out yet, which is a bit of a weird one. So that's the 901s. The 931s, the options are the same on everything, apart from the tyre choices. So if we go to, we've got Trelleborg, Ollis Fours, same options on those. Then we go to the next one, we've got Nokians on these. So we've got standard Nokian, says standard, and then back off again. So we do have knock-ins as an addition, but the other things are the same, the protection options with or without winch. And then this one, Komatsu, Komatsu EME, and then five button mini changes the joysticks inside. That, that's all. It won't change the way they operate or anything like that, but just change them on the inside. And that's the same as the 931 XC, just a bit more expensive. Then the 951 is the big daddy of the group, 291 horsepower, bit larger. Again, we've got Trelleborg, we've got Ollis Falls, and we've got Nokians. Although on this one, the Nokians, there's no other options. You just get a Nokian choice. And then the other options are exactly the same. So, we'll hop into, just kind of had a quick look at that. Let's jump into one of these ones. Start it up. So, on L1, right stick up and down. Does that motion. Right stick side to side. Turns the cab. On R1, right stick up and down, we go forwards and backwards, and then side to side, we go out and back, so we can extend the boom out. Like so. So a few options there. That one's got the Protection 2, the other one I went for Protection 1, and I think the last one I've got Protection 3, so we can rotate that cab. Like I said, interior. nicely detailed and if we look at that one so then on the crane head itself the cutting head L1 and R1 right stick side to side rotates the head side to side right stick up and down opens and closes the head if you don't do it automatic by turning it on and then if we do L1 R1 and left stick side to side we've got also oh, up and down we've got the rotation side to side of the head so if you want to pick up lumber that's on the floor you can actually pick stuff up off the floor by changing it that was interesting what happened there we were going backwards somehow not quite sure how that just happened now the controls have stopped working completely there we go that was odd switch that back off Lights, very bright. Oh, bit of a slide there. Horn. At the end of the day, they, they cut trees the same as other harvesters, and each one of them will cut trees to slightly larger diameters. So, like I say, you can start with the thinning one, then gradually work your up, and then bring in the big boy to clear all the larger ones. We'll drive over to this. Um, so, this is the one I've got the winch on this one, and I'm Again, I know it should be me that's showing you how these things work, and I have been through every option I can find. Uh, I'm on PlayStation. I, I got myself a steep incline, so I thought well, it's not going to work on the flat ground, so I put myself an incline on. And there's uh, something else with this that's a little bit odd. Um, I tried it and thought, okay, well, maybe it puts like a ground anchor in or something like that when you come on a steep incline. Then I, plant, I put a tree in, so I thought, okay, maybe it needs to have something that you can actually winch to. That didn't seem to work either. Let's hop in. Start it up. Get the window open. So I've got the winch on there. Now there's nothing on here that gives me an option to change tools. I can't switch to the winch. L1, there's no winch options. R1, no winch options. And L1 and R1, no winch options. If I back up the hill, and this is a pretty steep one. If anywhere I thought this would work, so I thought maybe it's just when you come down the hill, it will automatically find a near tree and just put a, put the winch on or something. I've tried getting close to the tree. I've tried all sorts of things. But here's the problem as well. If I put my brakes on, that that's... I say brakes on. I was trying to reverse backwards at that point, and it wouldn't... It just went hurtling down the hill. So the picture shown of you being able to harvest on a hillside 
you're either reversing or you're accelerating down the hill. So I thought, okay, we'll turn the engine off because then it will stop in place. So if I turn the engine off, see what happens. So I'm not sure with that. <laughs> I, I, you know, maybe it needs to be a thicker set of trees. Maybe it, the incline's too steep. My, you know, I'm trying to think of what parameters could be in play here that are stopping this winch thing from working. It's on the back. It's there. Now, if it wasn't designed to work on the larger tree harvester, why have it as an option on it? I've, like I said, I've tried going right up to the tree. I've tried accessing, and that's me reversing full. I'm on full reverse there and it just rolls down the hill. It doesn't seem to want to stay in place. I've tried with the harvester head turned on. I thought, well, maybe you need to be actually harvesting for it to work. Still nothing. Um, I've come around to the back of it thinking, okay, maybe I need to access it by using hand tool or something. I just can't seem to get it to work. Unless I'm missing a winch cable somewhere. You know, is there a winch cable I, honestly, it's, it's a bit of a baffling one. So I don't know if that's going to require an update or it was never supposed to be on console like that. I don't know. I'm just going to have a quick check. Let's go across to our tools and miscellaneous. I just wanted to check in case that there was a there was a winch cable that you're supposed to get to go with it as an accessory or something like that. So uh, that's got me a bit baffled. This one, though, has got the full protection on the back, so the slightly chunkier bars and stuff on it. Uh, and it will harvest trees in the same way that other harvesters harvest trees. So that's the Komatsu Harvester Pack. I apologise if I've missed any settings. I hope I haven't. Um, that's by Woodcraft Modding. Next, we've got this. This is the Annaberga HTS11D04. It's by Vertex Design. It's 30.56 megabytes, 25 slots to download. Sorry, 11D04 tandem, twin axle. 25 slots for the first one. Really nicely detailed. This is a muck spreader, but this will do manure and lime, or lime, not at the same time. It will do manure or lime. I've got lime in that one manure in this one just to check that they do spread out to the same width like i say very nicely made you'll find them other tools and muck spreaders manure, sorry manure spreaders Thirty-five thousand nine fifty for the base model only requires 90 horsepower options available without extension it is 9200 liters with extension 11,000. those are the two options there we've got tire choice michelin or trelleborg under michelin We've got a standard or a wide tyre, or a larger tyre. Trelleborg, standard or a larger tyre. Now we can change the working width and no extra cost. 10 metre, 12 metre or 15 metre. Doesn't cost you anything to do that. So You can go up to a 15 metre. Those are the options. So what we'll do is jump in, open it up, L1 and X. Opens up ready for operation. We'll turn it on. I think I went for the 15 metre. Nice smooth animation. Runs at 12 miles an hour. Let's close that back down again. We'll switch over to the next one. Again, open the back. There's no reason why it won't be the same width. It should be. There we go. Same width. 15 metres. So whether you're liming or spreading manure. Nice animations on both. That's the Annaberger HTS 11D04 Tandem by Vertex Design. Which brings me on to the last of the mods for today. And it's this behemoth. This is the Trans 90. This is by Rowley Christie 1 VSR Modding Sir. 5.34 megabytes download, 5 slots on console. This is an auger wagon chaser bin. Kind of gives it away with the 90. This is a 90,000 litre auger wagon. However, this auger wagon does everything. 
So it's not just your regular crops and seed and fertilise that most auger wagons do. This will take everything to 90,000 litres. Some really nice details. We'll show it filling up in a minute, but actually let's jump into the cab. Because what I do like is I love the glass at the back that looks in on the detail in there, which is great. And the detailing on this, so you've got your stanchions across to hold it in place to stop the sides buckling. You've got your grate and grill to stop large clumps and stuff falling through and the auger in the bottom. It's really nice. If we open up our pipe, he says, do I need the engine on? There we go. Pipe open or up and then we can raise and lower the pipe L1 and right stick side to side so we can raise it up right up out of the way or bring it down depending on what we're emptying into put that away again it's massive so it will take everything Which is pretty cool. I like that. Did I say total mix ration? It did. Although I'm not actually lined up. That's terrible, Mr. Simpy. What awful lining up. That's better. 90,000 litres. Madness. So, you'll find this. Under auger wagons, Trans 90, only 64 grand. I'm just trying to think of the price for the Hallmaster. That goes up to 70, doesn't it? For 70,000 litres, it's 105 grand. So, not bad, 64 grand for a 90,000 litre. It comes standard in Mr. P Green, which is nice. Um, but we do have a load of options. I do like the grey metallics quite nice as well, but there's a load of colour options we can have a look at. Requires 300 horsepower to pull. And that's it for the mods for today, Wednesday the 9th of June. I'm frustrated about that winch thing on there. I, I Like I say, I apologise if it's something I'm missing. It's, it's probably going to be something glaringly obvious or a set of particular circumstances where that, that winch will automatically pop up. But it does say quite specifically it is for visual purposes only, so I'm not too sure. But anyway. It's just bugged me a little bit, you know. I prefer to be able to show everything and, and you know, not miss anything out if I can. But anyway, um, that's it for today. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.